Hey everyone. So I wanted to give a little bit of an update on um, that deer I shot in bow season. Um, a couple of updates actually on it. Um, you know, after searching for just about three days, um, running out of blood, um, never really having a, another sign of it. Um, kind of gave up hope, but the, um, you know, we did end up seeing that deer again. Um, came on camera, I don't know, probably like a week and a half after the fact. Um, you know, I, I'm happy that I, that I didn't kill the deer, I guess. Um, but I, I'm also uh, bummed out that I injured the deer, um, probably to cause it some serious pain. Um, you know, it, it, um, the, the pictures that I've gotten of the deer, it's been chasing dough, it's uh, eating, so it looks fine now. Um, it definitely probably had some discomfort and um, hopefully not any like internal type stuff. But um, so that was that update. Uh, and then um, the next update that was um, kind of a cool story is, um, you know, I was in my stand with a buddy from uh, Massachusetts, my college buddy, who's never killed a deer. And we were in the blind together. I was just filming them, just having fun. Um, and my camera goes off. And I'm like, whoa, that's that's the buck. That buck is uh that buck is like right behind us, kinda. So I tell my buddy, get ready, could definitely come this way. And as I'm talking and I'm talking, all of a sudden I just hear bang. I'm like, well, that deer's probably dead. <laughs> and then even going thinking about it even more, I realize that there's I have another buddy that lives um on a different road down the hill a little bit, doesn't really help my land too much, but um, that I, that I know. And I texted him and, uh, I said, Hey, I said, Hey man, is that you? And he said, yup. And I said, was it this deer? He said, yup. Um, you know, I said, does it have a hole in it? It says, yup. <laughs> so he got the deer. So, you know, a little bit of, you know, kind of bittersweet, you know, I'm glad that someone I know got that deer and, uh, I'm glad that the deer lived and didn't suffer and die in the woods. Um, and that, um, you know, it was kind of a weird ending, but I'm, I'm okay with it, I guess. Um, so just wanted to give an update on it. You know, if you can see where I shot the deer, it's exactly where, I thought I may have hit it if I didn't find it. Um, and, um, you know, an inch higher, I probably would have spined it and dropped it. And, you know, an inch lower, I probably would have hit some sort of vitals and probably killed it. So, um, again, you know, it's, it's like I said before, it's kind of a lesson learned. And knowing that I got to practice more and, you know, this is going to bring me to maybe even practice out of a tree into a stand, um, which I don't usually do. Um, so it definitely, um, you know, kind of little hum humbled me a little bit on, on practicing more and, um, yeah. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know really what to think about it, but, um, listen, I'm glad it's, I'm glad they got it. I'm glad someone else got it. That deer head's definitely going to be going on the wall somewhere, um, at my buddy's house. So, um, that's cool. So, Hey, just want to give you an update. Um, everything else has been crazy here with selling Christmas trees, Probably have a few more videos out like that. Muzzle order season starts Saturday, so maybe we can get some video going there. Um, you know, I don't know how some of these people do it online, uh, you know, videoing and when it's cold like this. It's just not a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's 20 degrees out here and you got a video camera and you're trying to hunt. It's just a lot. Um, it's really hard to saddle hunt with a lot of clothes on and I love to saddle hunt. So um, maybe we'll try to get some videos um, coming out, but uh yeah, if not, um, definitely get some Christmas tree stuff going. So awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. And uh, we'll see you.